Welcome back, new episode, get node value for linked list on hackerrank.com. And I try to solve the code challenge now. I have a linked list and I want to get a node value and I get the head and the n and I think the n is the position of the node. Sample input. What? Position from tail? No, really? Oh, this is input for you have to complete this position from pay oh god oh god this is hard nth element <coughs> ah let's let's do it let's do it quick and dirty it's the dirtiest way to do it is go through the list two times, but it's easy. Because it's easy. Don't have to think about it. So now I have the length of the list. <laughs> and now I can do something like length minus n. For example if n zero I want to have the tail if it's only one element in there. If the element is one, the length is one, then I have one minus zero. I think I have to subtract one. Because a zero will return to six, yes, and a two so I have the length of four and I want to have the first element then. So four minus two minus one. Yes, pause. And current pass equals zero. Smaller than n, uh, smaller than pass. Uh, do I have to return it? Yes, return. Current data something like that oh compilation error it's already declared yes so this is a case if you reuse values this is quick and dirty normally you should do something like no, I think it's it's even the fastest way to do it. The other thing you would do is to create a reserve list and then go through this list to the nth element. But you create a new list. It's memory consumption, pure memory consumption. Instead of this, I just calculate the length and this is really not that bad because I go through the list. And if I want to have the last element, then uh, it's it's one time not that different I think I think it, it was a good solution delete duplicate values I thought this is the last one <gasps> oh no there's a second second page okay from sorted linked list remove duplicates okay let's delete the duplicates think that's not that hard. Well, current not equals null goes through the list. Go to the next element. So we are iterating through it. And while we're iterating it, we check while current next is not null and current data equals current next data. So current next equals current next 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 so we skip this uh, okay it's a bit complex but quick and dirty it's no no that's not, not that dirty I think this is really easy computation error because because I don't know why missing return statement return head we keep the head as is it as it is
What? No. So we're going through the list and skip at the point where we say, oh, I see a adjacent duplicates, and then we delete them just by, by skipping them. Cycle detection. Oh, okay. This is one of the more adv advanced things. More than once. Ah, okay. He here is an example. If you have a head at the point to null, everything is okay. But as soon as you have something like that in your linked list, hmm. you have a problem. A cycle. <laughs> How? How to detect this without a new data structure or, or use a data structure? We need something like a hash map. Mm. Don't use a hash map. Should be uh, only with linked list. It, it's it's um, it's really really hard. I think visit it. Without using a hash map. Yeah, I want to count how 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 many nodes I've already visited. But to do this that with a linked list, I always have to. I could have a list of all nodes that I've already visited. Mm. No, it's too complicated. Yeah, let's do it the easy way. The hash map is there. Why shouldn't we use the hash map? Um, my current. Not equals now. <coughs> Let's iterate as always. So return. When we come to an end, there's no cycle. But if we have a cycle, we will continue going to it here. And we just say <coughs> visited. If visited. Oh, we ca can use a hash map, a hash, hash set, ha hash set, a hash, hash set. Is there something like a hash set in Java? Yes, there's a hash set. Okay, then use it. Loading hints. Hmm. Do I have to do something like an import? Is there a rule? So, mm, yeah, I think we have to fully specify the hash set, and if we do that, it should work, hopefully. Um, so, um, there are a few method methods like size is empty contains oh contains the turn force I don't know if that will work <sighs> ok 
okay, this won't work. Yes, I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know how I can solve it only with linked list. No. Sh what? Timeout? Oh yes, because yes, it makes absolutely sense. We have to remember all the visited nodes. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Wrong answer. Why? At current next. Hmm. Why does this not work? Hmm. How to detect this <coughs> in a different way? Oh, this is the input. It's just one. Oh, if it's null, what? I, okay. One zero 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 zero. Why? Oh, <laughs> this was obvious. Of course I have to return two or false. So that's it, and that's it for today. So, bye and until see you next time.